you need to stop listening to other people. That would be where I would first start because yes, people have different views and some people have different where on where they are on their journey. And therefore some of the things they're saying are from their own perspective. And they're saying, well, the father said this, actually he didn't. Not every time everyone says the father said, showed me this. It is the truth. Jesus is the truth. Not everything people say is the truth. And I would not be looking for people to affirm what you're hearing from the father yourself, because that is going to be what you need to focus on. So you had a wonderful experience. And then it feels like you let that experience be robbed from you because other people were telling you different things um, about important matters. Well, there's nothing more important than having time with God and enjoying his presence. So how do I measure whether something has the frequency of God on it or not? I use love. Is this loving? Is this a reflection of a loving God? If it isn't, I am not going to believe it. There's an American prophet who came out recently with some horrible things towards the president of the U.S. He is not a prophet that spoke from God at that time. Has he spoken from God before? I'm sure he probably has. But that isn't from God. What he's doing is coming from his own political agenda that's on the inside. So do I, does that phase me? No, because I just don't accept it's God because it's not love. You can't be cursing someone and it be from God. So sometimes you have to use love and say, okay, is this aligned to love? If it's not, just, just reject it. But I would stop looking for a, a whole load of different people to talk to you about different things. Personally, I don't listen to anybody. You know, I'm not saying that in an arrogant way. I spend time listening to God. Yes, I hang out with some people sometimes and we talk, but I don't listen to other people's sermons, messages, read other people's books generally, simply because I got too much invested in my time with God and enjoying life to go spending all that time looking at what God said to somebody else. Now, if God asked me to or sort of impressed on me the need to listen to something, I would. You know, I did listen to something the other day from Brad Jerzak on, you know, understanding why the God seems so different in the Old Testament from the New. And it was very helpful and really, it was, yeah, that's great. It just affirmed what I already knew, but it was good to hear it. But generally speaking, I'm not looking for other people to, you know, give me that. So you can be double minded because you're trying to understand what other people are thinking and trying to make an, make a sort of agreement with it and actually you've got to accept that some people are not talking from god although they say they are so the less you hear from people the less you have a problem it's not a problem to to question what someone is saying and measure it against love it's not wrong i'm not critical of those people in that i'm going to publicly come out and say you're wrong but inside, I'm not going to accept what they're saying because I'm questioning what they're saying and measuring it against love. And I would absolutely doubt what those people are saying. That's not a problem. But doubting what God is saying because other people are saying something contradictory or trying to sway you or tell you what God must be saying, that's, that is a problem. Don't be swayed by fear of man. Don't think that you need someone to affirm to you what God is saying to you, because maybe no, he's not saying it to anybody else. And actually, you need to have the, the courage of your convictions to say, hey, I'm going to trust you that when I come to you, that what you're saying to me is true. So, you know, don't allow things to make make you crazy. Because what you're allowing is other people to affect you. Whereas I won't allow other people to affect me, you know, and maybe the cloud of witnesses, if they're speaking to someone may have a different message for someone at that point on their journey than somebody else. And actually, maybe that person is just interpreting what they thought they heard the cloud of witnesses through their own filters, and therefore they're coming to their own conclusion, and it may not be what they were trying to communicate at all. So I don't believe it's for us to judge somebody else therefore don't let it make you crazy you just say okay i don't know i'm it doesn't sound love to me so i'm not going to listen to it leave it there you don't have to go through it's not your responsibility 
for that. So if it's making you crazy, you're allowing it to make you crazy. Don't focus on it. Focus, you know, what did Paul say? Think on these things, things that are pure and lovely and good. So where there's conflict and confrontation and where there's differences of opinions, they're not good things to think about. So just let it go. You know, focus on the good. Focus on being that bride. Focus on being that person who Jesus just wanted to, to make special because you are special and he wants you to feel special. Other people may not want you to feel so special. Some people will always be negative. You know, don't doubt your own experiences and thoughts with God because someone else is contradicting it. Don't allow them to make you sad. Don't therefore struggle thinking this isn't right. You had that experience. You know it was right. You know how good it was. Don't be robbed. You know, so I, I feel that for maybe a time, have a season where you shut off listening to other people, you know, and including me. You don't need to listen to anybody. Give all of that time just listening to the Lord, just listening to the Father, engaging him. You know, set a time, whatever time you want. It could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month. Just focus and therefore exclude all the other voices from your head and just listen to the one voice the voice of love, the voice of truth. And then I think maybe a lot of these things will fall into place and you won't need to be, you'll realize, hey, I don't need this. I don't need other people's opinions in my life. I'm just looking at God's opinion. That's all that counts. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.